Hello and welcome to day five of Month of Biz Love. I'm Tara Swiger. I help makers and artists feel awesome about their business. And one of the ways they do that is through this month-long challenge to love your business better. It's got three main parts. The first part is on Instagram where I post a daily challenge. You can find that at Instagram.com slash Tara Swiger. And then you can answer the challenge on your Instagram by using the hashtag Month of Biz Love. You can see lots of awesome responses there, super inspiring. The second part of Month of Biz Love are these daily video lessons. From May 24th or 25th to June 24th, I'm posting live uh, video lessons every day, first on Periscope and then putting them on YouTube, even while I'm with my family at the beach. So this is the view. <laughs> and the third part of it is a workbook and journal for you to work through these challenges on your own and privately. It's got lots of questions, lots of links to resources, and you can find that at taraswiger.com slash month of this love. taraswiger.com slash month of this love is where you get that workbook for you to answer the challenges and also has uh, links to resources. So like yesterday I mentioned a quiz and a podcast episode. You can find all of that in that workbook. It's totally okay if you're just joining us today on day five for the very beginning or if you feel like you've fallen behind. You can work through it at your own pace. I'm just posting a new lesson every month. You don't have to be, or every day of the month, <laughs> you don't have to be right uh, on time to work through it and still get something out of it. So we have talked so far um, in days one through three of the kind of business you wanna have, what your mission is, and where you are now and what the gap is between um, where you want to be and where you are now. Then yesterday we talked about the mindset you need to have in order to move forward. And a lot of people get stuck with a fixed mindset. So that was day four. Day five, it's time to think about moving towards the business you want or a business you love more. Now that you have a big, clear, big picture view of it, what are you going to do in that much shorter term view in order to get to the bigger picture of what you want? And remember what I said in the earlier lessons, it's okay that you're not there yet. You're never going to get the completely 100% perfection business, but you're always going to be moving closer and closer to doing more and more of what you love. So. In order to get closer, you need a way of measuring that movement forward. And we measure that with a goal, a goal that both uh, says how you're measuring it, like what's the metric you're measuring, and then also a goal that has a timeline so you know if you're measuring it or not. Now today I wanna to talk about the three kinds of goals you could set, and in a couple days we're actually gonna set a goal. So uh, here are the three different kinds of goals you might want to set. The first kind of goal is just a do your best goal. Now this is like, I'm gonna just try this and do my best. That is often a good kind of goal for something brand new. Like if you were new to making periscopes, you might wanna be like, you know what, my goal is just to make a periscope and do my best, and that's it. That is totally a fine goal, but um, studies have shown that it doesn't uh, make, it doesn't inspire big action or big feelings of accomplishment because you can't really measure if you did your best or you didn't do your best. So it's much better to pick a goal that's actually measurable. So the second kind of goal is a difficult goal, difficult goal, and it is more measurable. It's very specific and it's very measurable and it's usually far outside of your actual ability. So an example would be like if I decided I was going to run a marathon in uh, four weeks, right? And I was going to run and not walk. That's extremely measurable. I'll know if I ran 26.3 or whatever it is, 26.2 miles without stopping to walk, but that's extremely beyond <laughs> my own athletic abilities. Studies have shown that a difficult goal, if you're under stress, can be seen as a threat and actually um, cause you more stress and you're less likely to reach it. However, it's also been shown to be the most action inducing of all the three kinds of goals. And the uh, people have a bigger sense of accomplishment when they work on a difficult goal because you're taking bigger actions and you're doing more stuff. However, if you're stressed, it's not the best goal to send. So if you're in a feeling of, um, I have to make rent, oh my goodness, I have to do this, or if the big goal really stresses you out and adds to your stress levels, it's been found that that will demotivate you and you'll actually do less action if you're overly stressed and you set a difficult goal. Now the third kind of goal is a strategy goal. And a strategy goal is measurable, but it's about the things you'll do in between here and your goal. So it's um, it's about like, instead of me saying I'm gonna run 
uh, a marathon without walking, a strategy goal is I'm going to follow this running plan for the next 12 weeks. I'm going to run three times a week. That's the strategy. My goal is simply to do that instead of trying to uh, get the final thing. So the goal is just to enact the strategy. Now, what's interesting is I just was reading this research and it's all linked up in the, um, in the Month of Biz Love workbook. And what the map making guide does, which you can find at taraswiger.com slash map, and I had created over five years ago and have been selling to lots of makers and artists ever since. What the map making guide does is it has you set a difficult or challenging goal, but then turns it into the strategy. What are all the things you're going to do in order to reach it? So you can do um, both. You can set a difficult goal and then create a strategy in order to make it happen. So that, those are your three kinds of goals. I want you to think through what kind of a goal you need now. If you're really stressed and um, you feel like you're under a lot of pressure, not even in your business, but just in any area of your life, you probably want to choose a strategy goal. If you, however, want to be challenged and you have the energy to work really hard towards a new goal, you probably want to choose a difficult goal. In my experience, what you really want to do is combine the two. You want to take a goal that's a little difficult, a little challenging, and break it down into a strategy. What are the actual steps you're going to follow to get to the thing? And if you need help breaking your goal down, you can check out the map making guide at taraswiger.com slash map. And this is part of the month of biz love because I think that a lot of times we are unhappy with the work we're doing on our business because we set the wrong kind of goal. We didn't set the kind of goal we needed now. We set the kind of goal we thought we should set. Or we didn't set any kind of goal. What I mean, what I find with a lot of makers and artists is they've just given themselves do your best goals. So the goal is just like, well, I'll work on my business and do my best. Um, so that is the uh, that is something you want to stay away from. Just saying, oh, I'll just do my best on this. Unless you've got a lot else going on in your life, and this is just not a priority right now. So I want you to think about what kind of goal you need best. You can answer that question in the month of Biz Love Workbook. And someone on Periscope asked, where do you find the map making guide? It's at tarasweiger.com slash map. And it will walk you through the steps of taking your goal and breaking it down into doable actions. That's tarasweiger.com slash map. You can also just Google map making guide tarasweiger. It'll pop right up. And uh, that guide just helps you break down your goal into some strategies. And we're going to be talking about strategy a little more in upcoming weeks. And in the rest of month of biz love, we are going to set a goal and then figure out what um, what other areas of your business you need in order to make that goal happen. So stay tuned. If you're not yet, either follow me on Periscope or subscribe on YouTube. All of the videos are in the month of biz love playlist on YouTube. You can find my YouTube channel at tarasweiger.com slash YouTube. Don't forget to get your workbook tarasweiger.com slash month of biz love. Thank you so much for joining me on the month of biz love. And as a reminder, you can find today's challenge on Instagram. Answer the challenge with your own answer. Say what kind of goal you need to set next and use the hashtag month of biz love so we can all find it and comment on it. Thanks so much and have a great, lovely day.